So I decided to share some things that I did not share before as we are very close to reach the end of the craziest year 2020. Now the things that I'm going to share here is stuff like why I created this channel and what I was able to achieve by creating that channel and also my future plans about this channel and what content I will share in the next years. Actually one of my first plans is to create more live sessions at YouTube and I want to create live sessions that are going to be in style of question and answer. So to start with a successful live session I need you people to go down to the comment section and really start thinking about questions that you'd like me to answer them. So this could be any question that is related to programming or my future plans or any personal question that you'd like me to answer. And the questions that are going to be the most popular, I'm going to answer them in my live question and answer sessions very soon. So let's go back to February 2020, the month where all the pandemic started to hit very bad the entire world and millions of people started to lose their jobs and I did as well, okay? I lost my job as a DevOps engineer. So I started to have feelings or thoughts, what should I do next, like everybody. So the first thing that came up in my mind is to keep learning stuff that is related to DevOps because I wanted to improve my skills. Now, the other thing that I thought that it is a great time to start with is a YouTube channel. But the idea of starting a YouTube channel is something that I plan to do since 2018. But back in the days, there were a lot of excuses why I should not start this channel because I did not have the confidence. And also I felt like I don't have enough knowledge that I want to share. So I think that this was the perfect time to create a video or two and see how it is going. And I also thought that the fact that having a YouTube channel right now could be something that could really improve speaking better English. So I did not give up and I just created more tutorials in the topics that I feel that I'm strongest at, like Python or anything that is related to it. So when I landed my job three months after it, I was very thankful that I started this YouTube channel because this is something that keeps improving my English and this is something that is very helpful in the job that I'm currently working at because everything is from home and you have to communicate with a lot of people around the world and the English is a must thing that you pretty much want to be master at, okay? So this is why I'm really highly motivated to keep this YouTube channel keep on going and Really, I don't know, but there is something really beautiful in teaching and to spreading your motivation about being great at what you do. So this is why I decided to create this channel and really stick to it and not quit after a few of videos because this is really easy to do as you don't see any subscribers coming in or the views count is not rising. So I really want to keep going and push forward until I really see that I spread the motivation to stick with your goal. And I think that the biggest achievement for this YouTube channel for this stage would be to receive a comment from someone that is saying that he was able to land a job thanks to my Python tutorials or something like that. Real, this could be something that would really inspire me. And I'm really thankful that I was able to publish almost 100 videos and I created a series already about Python for Absolute Beginners, which is divided into 35 episodes and as well as creating a full series on Django and Flask and also web scraping. So I know that most of you people are coming from the free code camp video that has been published there. So I think this is the greatest achievement of that here, okay? The fact that Free Code Camp, the largest programming community on YouTube, agreed to publish my tutorial is something that I really enjoyed and I was really thankful about it. So I hope that there are going to be a lot of achievements like this to come in the following years. Okay, so some more things that I will be definitely talk about them in the next year. Now, when you want to land a job in your professional career as a software engineer or as a DevOps engineer or anything else, you probably want to get out of the comfort zone of pure coding. So I'm talking about stuff like Git, GitHub and databases or anything that is really surrounded with the project developing, but you never took a deeper look at. So think about it, when I created this Flask tutorial, I talked about HTML, CSS, JavaScript, 
databases, GitHub. So you'll see there are a lot of topics that are dealing around Flask. So I definitely want to create a tutorial on GitHub or how you can interact with databases and as well as on the SQL itself. So SQL is the structured query language and this is the very known language that allows you to interact with databases. So I will be creating tutorials on them for extending your knowledge as well. So like I said, there will be a lot of more live sessions and I try to create them in question and answer style. And also in the next month, I will be publishing the Python for Beginners series that is going to be in higher quality than what I have now. Now, the reason I'm doing this because I know that I can do it a lot better than what I did in this year. And I also want to give this concept of all in one video. I feel like this is something that is more comfortable for most of the people. So this is why I will be publishing a full beginner series, which is going to be in four hours length or something like that. And also I plan to publish object oriented programming series on Python and also covering concepts that I did not cover yet. So stuff like automation with Selenium or working with APIs or working with web requests and stuff like that. And I did not cover topics like how we can deploy a project in production. So I will be creating very deeper tutorials on that. So this is going to be stuff like how you can deploy your projects on cloud, on platforms like Linode, AWS or anything that is cloud based. So I really want to create tutorials on them as well. And that is something that I will be doing in the Flask series in the near future. So definitely consider waiting for it because I will publish a one video that will explain how we can deploy a Flask application in production. And we will do that with the Linode. And I think that there is nothing left to say rather than have a great year and have happy holidays. And I hope that the next year will be a lot better than what you had in this one. And I really hope that you will come closer to your dreams in the next year. Okay, so I hope this will close out this video. And again, like I said in the beginning, please raise your questions so I will be able to have a successful live session where I will be answering all of your questions. So as usual, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel as well. I will see you very soon.